Okay, Pete, I'll switch this one off and you could go with the other one. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do today is convert an ordinary Drennan catapult in one that will take any hybrid elastic, hollow elastic, without any. Well, it's, after the house was done, it's so easy to convert your elastics and you never have to buy catty elastic again. So I'll start by showing you what I do. Just cut the old elastic out. Because remarkably, Pete, but the pole elastic to buy is very expensive, isn't it? Yeah, you don't get yeah, a great yeah. deal for three or four quid. And you're always throwing your elastics away from your pole. So yeah. I just thought, so I'm going to convert these to take pole elastic. Yeah, good little what, tip. What you need is an old drilling catapult, a guru pouch, which I found is best for the pouch. As I say, any elastic, any hybrid elastic. This is Ian's, you can use the hollows, anything. And all you need to do is get yourself a Preston inline feeder stem measure it up against the catapult halfway down the uh, shaft about right there because you've got to be able to push it in to the base of the catapult halfway there yep. mark it and then get yourself a good pair of pliers or an axle it's just quicker cut it off it'll flatten it with a pair of pliers but all you do is get a rod I've got an old dart open it up again and this is just to stop the elastic this, this, back yeah because in the bottoms of these they're a wide gap yeah I don't think it's seen there was it stops it coming up through there yeah Goes in, it'll, comes out through there yeah because these have got a little raised edge gotcha and then what you do is just this is, gonna, this is the most awkward bit once you get it in it never comes out so but it's worth the effort mate yeah <clears throat> just turn it the, the dreaded catapult's the better one but you can uh, you can do it yeah 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 but as you can see now it's yeah and it's made the hole smaller yeah. So it won't ever. You can't pull back. But th through. This is the most technical bit of it. But yeah. once that's done, it's done. And, then, and if ever you want to change them back, just push them out. Yeah. But no. And then all you do. It's so easy. It's butter fingers. Of course, these, these uh, actual uh, pouches are about a couple of quid. So yeah. Yeah. Know. I have these knocking about in a box. When yeah. I brought them, they were like <coughs> two quid. They're the better ones, they're yeah. soft, flexible. You can do it with any pouch that's got that sort of fitting with holes at the base. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, you see? Yeah. So they normally have a pin that goes up through there. Yeah. But we're taking the pin out of the equation. Got you. And then you'll just you get your pole elastic. Don't know what you've been doing with that one. No, as I say, it's just a bit of old hybrid bed kicking about. What would it be, about 16, 18 p? Yeah, I think this is 1820. This is it 1820? Time. Yeah, and of course, by, by the power of the elastic, gives you what you want your catapult yeah. to do. So, yeah. if you don't want it to do more than sort of 10 or 12 I mean. meters, you can alter that to take a, yeah. a lighter elastic for your, for your pole pole. or whatever. But I mean, it'll take a whole load of all this. No, just work out that. Cut them off, both the same length, sort of thing. Give yourself a little bit more than you think you're going to need because you've got to tie knots in yes. it, right? Yeah. And then all I do is a crow's foot in the end that's going into the... Actually into the caddy. Yeah. I'll get it round there. Moisten it up so it gives you a big enough knot. Yep. Yeah. And we just cut them off. There. Which makes the crow's foot. I mean, you, don't, you don't really want to need a crow's foot. Well, you, it's a crow's foot knot, but yeah. you don't matter. It's just to stop it going back exactly. through. And then you've just come in the back the end. The non-crow's foot ending first. If it goes through. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, through. 
and I'll say the bush you put in there will stop it pulling out. Great. And it's neat. Yeah, without that bush it would have pulled straight yeah, through. Yeah, because the holes are too big. Gotcha. And that will just do the other one the same. And the thing is, if your elastic breaks, it's so easy to repair on the bank. Yes, yeah, of course. That one's the same with that one. And of course, we've all got, uh, oh, catapult, we all we've all got catapult bodies laying about with, with, with no elastic in them, so... You know, you can give this one a go and it won't, it won't cost you a penny. This one's got old stems knocking Of course, out. yeah. It doesn't really matter, but they're roughly about the same at the yeah. moment. Yeah, you could adjust that with the... Yeah, and then... It was quite strange because this morning when I was picking up a few catapults for Pete to show you to do this with, we actually found one that uh, Pete made me 30 years ago for Wyland's Farm, just for the pole because the, the, the stake lake was only 11 metres across and to keep the bait tight we was using very light elastic so this is something that he's been doing for a long, long time. Well, you all know how to do this, you just thread it through there. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's really so you, the, This the is why the Guru ones have got a smallish hole. Yes. I think the new Preston ones are the same, all that and that, but they all have I don't know how they do it with their hybrid ones, you have to tie a knot behind it and yeah. then put it on the spike. All you do it here again is just do... And with this one you don't need that sleeve so it no. won't pull through. No, you just... Another knot. Another crow's foot knot. Yep. Okay, it'll look nice and neat. You can cut this as tight as you want. Yeah. And then that'll go up there up through that, yeah. pull up through that knot. Yeah, that, that won't move. Yeah. We're three quarters of the way towards a new catapult. Yeah. I mean, I've converted all my Drenum ones now to this. Yeah. Because we all go, oh, catapult elastic. I'll well, go, as I say... I'll go and get some, but you, you get... You know, even buying it on the internet, you're still paying three quid for basically about a metre of it. You don't get two catapults out of it. All you do is just hang the catapult there, where you'll... Play about with it until you get all the same sort of length. Yeah. I mean, if you don't get it, you can always untie the knot and start. Have another go. Just hold it roughly where you think it's going to yeah. be. Yeah. Do you make your make crow crow it up? But let's be honest. If it's not, if it's not absolute, it's not. It could be the most critical thing. As long as it's very close, it'll do. Yeah. The thing is, if you do have a too short elastic. Yes one side and the others, it will have it, it a bit of pulling yeah, it and fighting it. Spread it about. See that much. one's a bit out. See it? Yeah. So all you do is just put a knot behind this one. I'll take up the slack. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah. 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 Yeah it's level in now. Yeah. And that's look at that, yeah. Don't yeah. undo your crow's foot, just tie knots in front of it. Yes, yeah, just, just, keep, just take up that little tiny thing. Slack, and then it's good and straight. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Perfectly usable catapult that's cost absolutely nothing by 10 minutes of your time. And that will, that will propel maggots and pellets oh, more that, than far away. Oh, yeah. Well, you can just, as I mean, you can go down to a really lighter elastic in these. Yeah. And it will still hold in now. Brilliant. And that. But that's great. And as I say, it's it's just a great way of using up your, your old polar elastic. Yeah, but you've always got like a metre that you're gonna throw in the bin, so just keep it. Yeah. The heavy elastics just go bigger and bigger. Like I use purple hydro in my other cat pumps, yeah. just for a little bit further yeah. and stuff like that. And red. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Thanks ever so much for that, Pete. That's, that's a really good tip. Um, there'll be loads more from Pete this year because uh, He's going to be doing a lot more fishing with me out of our club lake, so we'll be doing a few matches together, wagger matches and God knows what. I'm, I'm prepared for a beating, so I'm <laughs> quite happy about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like it, and see you all again soon. Yeah, and I just hope you don't watch this video because it's in the front room. <laughs> <laughs>